Welcome Crypto Nation to Bite Size Bitcoin and B90X Day 17. Today we're going to be talking about candles. And so we've talked about so much in the last 16 days from creating a cryptocurrency lifestyle to creating creating your first account on Coinbase to making your first trades with GDAX to uh, buying your first altcoins with Bitrix. We've been creating a lot of tutorials and a lot of very beginner, very basic walkthroughs. So I hope that you've spent some time going into that. Now that we've finished some of the most basic account setup walkthroughs, we want to introduce you to the basics of technical analysis. And today, we're gonna introduce candles. Let's do it. B90X, bring it. So today we're going to be introducing candles. My favorite charting system to use is tradingview.com. Tradingview.com is a very simple system to use, and I highly suggest that you sign up for a free account. The reason you should sign up for a free account is it allows you to make drawings on the charts and it also saves your drawings, which is very important for future reference and future use. So if you haven't signed up for a tradingview.com account, sign up right now. All right, now that you're in tradingview.com, there's a lot of stuff to see. The first thing that you'll see is all of these pay, all of this stuff here. The first thing that you wanna click on is you wanna go over to market summary and you wanna click on, click on crypto. Crypto is where we're hanging out. We're hanging out with Bitcoin, the big mama. We don't care about all the other indices, currencies, or futures, or bonds. None of that stuff has any value to us. We want to look at crypto, and we're going to be using Bitcoin as our example. So let's do it. You can click on here and go to Bitcoin. Whoa, so there's lots of information here, guys. I want to give you the basics of what a candle is. There's so much information that is located within just one candle. And so we need to have this foundational understanding so that we can even make better trades over the long run. And the more practice you have understanding the basics of charting, the better and more informed cryptocurrency investor and cryptocurrency trader that you will become over time. So let's talk about candles. It's relatively simple, and there's gonna be a couple exercises at the end of this to make sure that you have even more practice doing it. All right, so here we go. What you see before you here are candles. These, all these red and green bars are called candles. Candles essentially show price action. What does price action mean? Price action is essentially the amount of money that people are willing to buy and sell in a particular time period. In the time period that we're looking at right now, we are in the 30 minute time window, which means this is how the price has moved within these last 30 minutes, okay? Candles show essentially efficient market hypothesis. Now, it sounds like an expensive word. All you need to know about efficient market hypothesis is that efficient market hypothesis assumes that all variables, all variables affecting that price are assumed within the price itself. These can include things like expectations and emotions, fear and greed. And so fear and greed certainly affects the price of a coin. It also includes market fluctuations, what's happening in the market, what's happening with the news, what's happening with uh, speculation. What candles show is the actual price. That's all it is. It's the actual price, not the underlying value. And so you might hear in some color commentary around coins that coins are overbought, they're oversold, they're worth more, they're worth less than they should be, or they're worth more than they should be. That's what essentially this is. Is it that, that what people are talking about is the perceived value of that coin, not the actual price itself. Candles will never tell you the value of a coin. Candles only show you what people are willing to buy and sell for. So let's jump right in to some basics around candles. So we have a candle right here. We have a candle right here. And the main section of the candle is called the body. The top is called the high, which means the most amount of money that someone is willing to buy it for. This Line right here is also often called the upper shadow. Most people in the crypto world call it a wick or a tail. Okay, so this is the range of price. Right here, we have the close. The close. Right here, we have the close. What did the coin close at during the particular time period? 
And down here we have the open. What was the original price that the coin started at during the 30 minute uh, segment? Down here we have the lower shadow and we have the low. We have the low, okay? So let's, let's take a deeper look at this. One of the first things you need to consider every time when you see a candle is the open price. We always wanna start with the open price. So consider this equation right here. If the price closes higher than the opening, then you're gonna see a green candlestick where the bottom is the open right here, and the top is the close right here. Now the opposite is true when it comes to a red candle. So let's go over here in this example right here, okay? If the price goes lower than the opening, so the open price started here, then you'll see a red candlestick where the bottom is showing the close right here and the top is the open. So it's the opposite. Whenever you see a green candle, it means the, the open is at the bottom and the close is at the top. If you see a red candle, then the open is at the top and the close is at the bottom. Now this is actually very important for us to know. So let's go over here and let's talk about it. In terms of the price action of the bar, when the close is greater than the open, you will find buying pressure. And so when the close, the close is up here, is greater than the open, the open was down here, then you're seeing buying pressure. What does that mean? People are interested in buying that coin. It's going to create an upward movement in the price. The opposite is true with a red bar. So when close, when close is less than the open, so the open was here on this red bar, when close is less than the open, then you have selling pressure, something like this, right? Okay, so one thing to note about these bodies, longer bodies mean more intense buying or selling pressure. So a good example is certainly right over here, right here. This was the open on top and down here was the close, which means there's a lot more selling pressure. There's a lot of people that are looking to sell their coin. There's a downward momentum in the market during this 30 minute time period. The opposite is true when it comes to smaller bodies. So smaller, shorter bodies means that there's less price movement and consolidation. You've probably heard this word consolidation before. We love consolidation. So generally after lots of price volatility in the market, you'll find that things will start to consolidate. What this means are, is people essentially are trying to figure out what do they wanna do? Do they wanna add more upward momentum and buy more? Or are they seeing the trends and they wanna sell more so that they can get their profit taking, okay? So again, what you see right over here is a strong selling pressure. What strong selling pressure with a red bar like this, what it can create is resistance levels. Resistance levels. A resistance level is a level that, where the price is not going to, it's going to be harder for the price to move upwards. The opposite is also true with a green candle. Okay, with a long green candle, like this one here, you see strong buying pressure. And what this can create is a support level or excessive bullishness. So a support level is where the coin is not going to go below that level. And it looks like there's gonna be a lot more upward momentum for the value of that coin. So in summary, candles show you a lot. They tell you a lot about the price action of a coin. We all, Remember, we always start with the open price. The open price, we always look at the open price here. And if the close price is above the open, it means there's a lot of price action in the upward movement. Okay. Now, the opposite is true with a red candle. We start with the open. And if it's the close is lower than the open, if the close is lower than the open, that means there's a lot of selling pressure happening in the market. Okay, understanding the differences between the highs, the lows, the opens and the close, as well as the body length can tell you a lot about what's happening within that particular time segment. And it can give you a lot of information as to what buyers and sellers are doing in terms of the price action and the range. In today's assignment on B90X day 17, I'd love for you guys to leave comments below or questions below in the thread in the Bitcoin pub. 
And number two, I'd love for you guys to practice even more with TradingView, writing down notes on TradingView as to highs, lows, opens, and closes. The more that you actually take notes on TradingView, the more that this is going to become tacit knowledge. What is tacit knowledge? Tacit knowledge is knowledge that you can neither verbalize nor write. It's muscle memory. It's the smell. It's the feeling of it. And so open up your trading view. Open it up and put some notes down. Where's the high? Where's the low? Where's the open? Where's the close? Is there buying pressure here? Is there selling pressure here? The more notes that you take on TradingView, the more tacit knowledge that you will receive and the better and more informed trader you will become over time. You can watch this video and do nothing. That would be okay. But watching this video and actually writing notes down in TradingView is going to help you learn more and instill these principles and ideas into your crypto lifestyle. So I hope this guys was helpful. This is a very simple tutorial on the basics of candles. We're going to go more into the deeper nuances of candles in next episodes. If you enjoyed this episode of B90X, feel free to subscribe and feel free to subscribe to our Patreon account so we can create even more walkthroughs, tutorials, and even more applications like mobile iOS apps for our crypto nation. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.